Hello everyone. Hi there guys. Emma. And Michael. Cousin Mia. Valentina. <laughs> so welcome back to another week and we have this week a new series. This is our top five. Top five series. It's just our personal opinion and what we enjoyed over the four months this summer. Yep. And probably in no particular order. Although I've got to say that I probably am doing my favourite one first. <laughs> I've got to say that. I've got to be. I've got to be honest. Yep. I know exactly um, which one that is too. You do. Yes. <laughs> and, you, and you think it's your favourite? I Was think it? it probably might be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's right up there. All right. Um, mind you, it's sort of hard to pick five when you've seen over forty-five towns. It is extremely hard. And we're picking this particular one because of the region more so than the actual town. I get well the town as well, but. The region. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, drum roll. <laughs> Castro. So, Castro de Leche is on the east coast and it's uh, Adriatic Sea, obviously, but its territory is not flat like the west coast. So, mm. we're from the Galatine side, where Gallipoli, Galatina, Nardo are on the west coast. It's all flat. Which is the Ionian Sea, but the Adriatic Sea, the coastline is slightly different. So I think we've probably fell in love with the coastline. Yeah. Um, even though I, I bought in Salento because I actually thought the majority of was flat. Well, I actually thought I thought all of it was flat, not majority. I actually yeah. thought all of it was flat. Yeah. Um, so it was a really nice welcome to surprise to discover the East Coast, and then for us, knowing that we actually did like rugged cliffside yeah, coasts yeah after all those steps in places like positano and that do you think no no more steps give me flat then we're drawn back to this area of castro <laughs> steps with more steps <laughs> and steps yes <laughs> and steps <laughs> all right so so castro is the region and just to let you know it is really like a little holiday resort area it only has a population of 2300 in summer, I don't know what happens. It's just, yeah, it's an explosion. Yeah, uh, we visited the area three, four times. One day we couldn't even find parking, so we we drove yeah. probably about a kilometre, kilometre and a half, and we ended up finding this mysterious little spot. We thought, what are all these cars doing here? So we, yeah. so we stopped. We did. Walked over. We thought it was just a park. And from the park, we looked down and we thought, we're going to find how to get to this beach. Yeah. <laughs> so that was a great find. Amazing. Yes. Also in Castro, um, it's also close to Santa Cesaria, Terme. Yep. Uh, so we visited there and we're going to add that in here as well. Yep. We also visited, oh, one of the grottos. But we didn't do the grottos by boat that day. We actually drove to Zinzalusa, yep. the, the biggest grotto there. And we did a, a little tour then. It cost us like, I don't know, six euro or something. It was pretty cheap. It yeah. was really cheap. Um, so we did the, the tour there, which went for a good, nearly, what, 40 minutes? It would have been 40 so, minutes. Yes, yeah. yeah. So you, you go deep into yeah. this cave. So, so yeah. So population being that small, small town living, uh, I would call it more like a holiday place. I don't know if it would be a place I'd actually live because it doesn't have, for example, the services like it does not have a bank there um, you do have to go like one kilometer to the next town for, for bank services uh, I think there was an ATM at the post office which is right at the top yeah so Custer is divided it's terraced so if you can imagine Positano Santorini if you can imagine terraces so at the very top is the historic center yep and that's flat once you get to the top uh, very bottom is the marina so that's where all the Resort mm -hmm. style living is swimming, like yep. yes, um, the swimming. You can get your boat hires to all the grottos. Yep. Uh, in between, you have obviously all the apartment, the rentals, the people that do live there. Yep. Um, there's supermarkets. There's little things like that. There's cafes, restaurants, but there's cafes, restaurants in the, the top as well. in the historic center, yep. which has two piazzas and the castle, and you can walk right around the top. The castle has mm, this yes. wall with amazing views. Um, so definitely worth visiting Castro. 
I will tell you it was over 500 steps from the marina sea level to get to the very top. You will see that in our videos. We We're thinking mm, 150 steps. <laughs> anyway. Lucky we like steps. <laughs> Not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but if you want to see the best, it's at the top, right? Of course. No pain, no gain. <laughs> yes, there was plenty of pain, mm. but lots of gain too. Yeah. Uh, so this town uh, has great restaurants um, around the marina. Uh, we didn't try any of the restaurants up in the... We, no, what did we do? We did a cafe. We did a um, spritz yeah. and nibblies and type things up at the top in the... Yeah, and at the um, some, historic uh, centre. Some nice Italian biscuits as well. At the top, yes. We yes. bought them to bring home. Though. We did. Yes. So, but yeah, down down the bottom of the marina, amazing restaurants, yeah. amazing, all right, and amazing views. So, you, you, yeah, not lots of choices there. So, this is the Castro region. Uh, for services, there is no hospital in that area. Uh, and if you want to get a train, public transport there, the nearest train is six kilometres away in the town of Andrano. Also another nice little spot too. Mm -hmm. and they've got a marina there as well. And yeah, so uh, yeah, train to Andrano and then buses to Castro. So if you do not have transport, that's how you get there. Otherwise you drive there. And from the west coast to there, it was 45 minute drive. So yeah. it was nothing. Close. Yeah, close yeah. by. Yeah. So we hope you enjoy Castro. And the regions, I have to apologise straight away. I took all my videos for Instagram, so they're all portrait. And I didn't take many in landscape, unfortunately. Yes, so. maybe three. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to apologise straight up that the videos are in portrait. But you just really need to see this region. You, nearly, you need to visit. If you're visiting Salento, visit this Castro region. All right, I definitely recommend it. Yeah. All right. If you don't like the tourists, do not go in the tourist season. Do not go between June and September. Yeah. Go off peak. But if you want to enjoy the water, the water sports, you know, like getting on the boats, seeing these grottos, swimming, diving off the boats, um, just that lovely night air at night time, sitting, having a spritz, having the water, the, yeah. you know, the view, that sort of thing, uh, go in the summer. Just go yeah. maybe June in September where there's, yeah, early there's yep. yeah we did go July August and September so we tried all three of the peak seasons yep. August was the worst yep. and that was the day we couldn't find parking September we actually stayed there for five days five nights and July we probably walked about a kilometer after we did find parking yes yeah yes all right Very so nice. a lot of the cliff sides there have got these beautiful villas overlooking the water and they have these beautiful swimming pools and gardens and everything so um, I, I believe in the peak season it's expensive but off peak you probably can find things for like 100 euro 80 euro a night that's yeah, yeah. in September I don't think we paid more than 80 euro a night with a beautiful breakfast yeah, with breakfast amazing. included yeah. so um, yeah so in September it was cheap yeah. but you couldn't get anything like that yeah. in Positano I'm comparing it to Positano because it's terraced yeah. um, for that reason. Yeah. So affordable. Definitely. Enjoy Castro. Have fun. This is our journey of buying a home in south of Italy, in Salento, the heel of Italy, known for its beautiful beaches, sunshine, a land steep in history. We bought our house in the historic centre of Galatine. A small town just a short trip from the beautiful coast of Santa Maria la Bagno and surrounding towns of Gallipoli, Galatina and Nado. Follow our journey on how we made it possible from Australia to purchase this remotely and the progress of the refurbishment and restoration along the way.
Positano. <laughs> oh, I'm confused. <laughs> no. But it we may, may well as be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who said Salento is flat? Untrue. We are at Castro and we're going to the historic center. And these are our stairs. <laughs> You can do it. Can I get a chocolate or something? You can do it. So we are able to do a walk around the whole wall here. Passeggiata del Muro. And that's the view. You can see part of the castle there now. So we are now at the very top of the town Castro and to the right of me below us which we probably won't be able to see here because you only see gardens is Castro Marina. I'm not too sure how long it's going to take to do the whole walk but I'm guessing it's going to be some stunning views along the way. huge dry wall on this level on both sides but there's also dry wall above us on the next level
see. Where are we? I'm in Castro Centro Storico, right at the top of the hill. I love this town. I love this place. I love it. So this is where the festival was on. Yeah, up until yesterday. grande, si sì, ha già detto io sa come stai felice che te ne guido no? sì, sì. e sono rimasti qua e a me mi dispiace perché che è qua ne sono Questa qua era di qua sì. e di là perché c'era gli scavini e la ferrata già. Ah. E poi quando hanno fatto il restauro, l'hanno domandata, io ho detto guarda signorino, aiuto, no? che questa deve tornare a casa. Ah tu stai, hai tu stai al restauro. No, hai fatto i cinque anni e sta già. Ah. Oh signore. Good evening. Good evening from Castro. Castro. And we're at Castro Marino at the moment. We're down the bottom. Yeah. We're where the water is. And we are at Terrazzo Aragosta, I think it's pronounced. Yes. And we're having pizza. I'm not sure if we can show you our pizza here. I haven't cut mine yet. They don't cut pizzas here in Italy. No. So, and Michael's drinking wine. 
my glass is holding up <laughs> the camera. <laughs> the camera so. yes. It's very nice pizza too. It's lovely pizza actually. So uh, we haven't had pizza for a couple of weeks, which is unusual yeah. when initially. Yeah. <laughs> so we've had a great day today and finishing it off with pizza, pizza. wine and biscotti. We biscotti, were naughty biscotti, today. Yeah. We actually bought them from the pasticceria shop. So. No gelato or dessert today. We're going to go home and have our dessert. Yummy, yummy. Good night from Castro. Vivo, you order your food and pay for it. Comes out fresh here. Should have mentioned it is a fish shop. And once you get your plate, you go out in the garden and you can eat under the lights, under the sky. So when your number gets called out, you get your meal served on a tray with all your cutlery drinks dressings etc and this is the beautiful garden view that we have what a great idea This is a car park with a million dollar vista. We are in Santa Cesario Terme. Town is to the left. Coastal town. And to the south there, up on the hill, is Castro. I think this is out of control. This is not a controlled fire on 35 degrees day.
We've already eaten half our panini and that is one big maxi bruschetta. <laughs> signing, signing up. Upstairs. Feel upstairs. Going down to see the Zinzalusa Grotto. We're about one kilometer away from Castro and it's stairs all the way down. We'll take you with us. Oops. down the next lot of stairs. There is a fee to pay, uh, six euro per adult. Uh, it was cheaper for children. There is an area here where you can swim as well. But we are off. Continue with the stairs. Just coming around the curve here. start to see the 
colour of the water change here. Just to show you the rock. And just to show you the water off the side here. We continue to walk around. We're here on a Monday, 4th of September. And uh, there's hardly anyone here. This is usually packed and you have to queue to get here. So, great time of year to come. We're about to get a glimpse of the grotto. Not too sure of the height of this, but <laughs> it's very, very high. That's its opening. Keep walking ahead. circa 65 milioni di anni fa. In questo ambiente vivono ancora pochi dolmeni di stregni. Loro escono e entrano in grotta facendo lo stesso percorso che abbiamo appena fatto, quindi unica entrata e unica uscita. La prima volta di tutti i giorni di anzi, tu capisci in cerca del tempo della mia vita. Ovviamente, ripeto, è una cosa che mi casca. Io sì, però. 